Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to the final episode of Prey. We went back a bit, so this is the point where we made both items, or we got the decision to either go to the heart of the coral or the re reactor console. So the monster has arrived. That still happened. Um, the giant massive typhoon has arrived, but now we can actually choose the other option. But I want to do first is actually something even more different. I want to go to the heart of the coral. And then once we get the message from Michaela that the shuttle is ready, I want to just go back to the shuttle bay and see what happens after that. So let's do that first. So let's place this again. I'm actually really wondering what uh, about a few things about the ending as well because somehow Alex got from his unconscious state so there we go so do we get that again and as I discussed, discussed before that's probably the Typhoon leader talking to us trying to get us out of the reconstruction trying to not do whatever we want to do here Okay, so we're back in the bridge, um, and now we get the message from Michaela that we can meet her in the shuttle bay. That's something I'm really wondering about as well, because could we actually do that? Because this is just the decision between these two things. But first things first, let's try and turn it around. So let's try and take out Alex before he takes out January. So I'm going to also use the stun gun for this, and this time I'm going to let the discussion play out a bit more. What the hell have you done? I simply acted on Morgan's orders. Nonsense. You're a machine. An ill-conceived one. Morgan would never... You tricked her. Who programmed you? I represent the desires of Morgan Yu, circa January 12th, 2035. Your sister created me to ensure her objectives would meet with success, and that yours would fail. Mine? <laughs> There's no difference between what I want and what Morgan wants. Not the real Morgan. The idea of a real Morgan is fiction. There's got to be an override. Please step away from the terminal. Oh. You left me no choice. Let's see what happens here. So there we go, she does it for us actually. That is interesting. So we definitely needed to do it ourselves. But that's that conversation. Let's rewind a little bit and try this again with us taking out Alex. So now we know for sure, for certain that Alex would lose the fight between Alex and January. So let's what go the in. What have you done? And now do it I ourselves. Hi. Me under the I know. There we go. Please reconsider. Trust your former self. The one that isn't morally bankrupt. Morally Your bankrupt. Morgan, not mine. The directives you gave me require I do everything in my power to ensure you destroy Talos One and all the Typhon. Detonating the station safeguards the Earth and perhaps provides a small measure of reparation. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. If you want to activate the Null Wave, you'll have to kill me. So there we go. We still need to destroy January even though we took out Alex now. Don't know if Alex have anything... No, not really. I still don't know how Alex actually got here. Because, remember, he was unconscious in the Arboretum when we left him. And there was no indication that he had a complete suit to actually get through the uh, Zero-G area of the Arboretum. So we're not going to destroy January, because now we're going to blow up the station. But before we do that, I want to check out if there actually is a third option. So we have either blow up the station, save the station using the null wave, or can we just run away? I don't know if that's an option. Can we just go to the shuttle bay, hop on board, and just leave with everybody else? Without deciding what to do? I have no idea, and there's a lot of black goo on the window. Another thing why I wanted to go to the shuttle bay now is just to check whether we can um, go outside at this point. It's probably inadvisable, but with that giant typhoon over there, I just want to check that out. Well, I don't know how everybody just got out of here, basically, but um, they must have gone through these guys as well, but...
Oh god. Those are electric. Those are electric. In the mix. I think I lost two of them. There we go. Took out all of those. That was actually heavily defended. How did they ever get back on the the the, the thing? The shuttle. Wait, that was shoulder shells, right? Yeah, thank you. But there's definitely more where that came from, but can I just go in here now? Hello. Oh. By the way, I also got this key. The cargo holds. And what does this actually hold for us? Two more exactly charges and two more neuro modes. Okay. Never really checked that because we got the key from Dahl's corpse. But there doesn't seem to be anybody here. So basically Michaela tells us to meet us there. But that's just for the end cinematic then I suppose. Just a bit of, just a bit of flavor text. Fine. There's one more thing I wanted to check. Oh yeah. I don't need to check because over there it's clearly red so I can't go outside. And those tentacles keep trying to make our way their way in. Well then, oh god. Um can you fuck off please? Thank you. Oh you can actually shotgun those. Hi. But I mean they keep coming probably, so nothing I can do about that. So let's blow up the space station. So down to life support. And we take the elevator down. So again, I do love the, the difference between going either up for the null wave or down for the reactor controls. But I think even that according to the game, this is the better option. Since now we've, well, we cleared the shuttle. So we have a free way to just blow up the station without much casualties. I think only Alex would die in this case. Entering life support, we get the greater mimic. And now I'm wondering whether that telepod that was over here is gonna be mad at me. So there's a poltergeist. And this guy, well, you don't seem to mind. So let's just go down towards the reactor console. Because I haven't seemed to be I wasn't attacked by the poltergeist either. There might be another nightmare here because this seems to be their favorite spot. Oh, that's a weaver. Just run past them. That's just past all of them. Reactor console. So, the reactor console. The interesting thing is, the game actually said to me, well, kind of indirectly, because the golden trophy I got uh, at the end of the last episode when I cleared the game, that golden trophy actually indicated that I completed the game in the most benevolent manner that I could have done it. But the game on the same in the same way kind of scolded me for using the null wave device instead of blowing up the station. Since blowing up the station would take care of the typhoon in a more direct manner. Ow. Okay. Well, wouldn't be an episode of prayer if I wasn't scared by a mimic at some point. But then I wouldn't have gotten that golden trophy, I would think. So let's go down. Access the self-destruct consoles. There's apparently multiple of them. And the arming key. So we've seen that before. Which is another advantage of us being very, very thorough in our normal playthrough before we even ended up here. I could just jump down. And I feel like this is, I mean, this is a badass way of ending this, right? Going all the way down. There we go. Underneath the reactor core. And then the sad music started to play, I think. So let's just go in here. I'm guessing there's going to be a separate trophy for this. Although there wasn't really a trophy for finishing the game by using the null wave transmitter. Which is interesting as well. There wasn't really a normal complete the game trophy. They were all linked to action. So let's plug those in. And then... We need to rotate them around. Do we need to do that at the same time? One. And two. And then... I'm guessing it's time... Time to die. Trigger the station self-destruct. Ah, we need to go to the bridge anyway. Fair enough. Fair enough. So we triggered that. And now Alex can't, of course, intervene. Because he's unconscious in the bridge. I guess we'll see about that. Hi. I don't really, I don't really care about you, Typhon. So let's go use the elevator we fixed. 
Since we even did that, we can just go all the way back up and lose no time at all to get back to the bridge. Kind of takes away from the drama of dying in the arc reactor. Well, the arc reactor. I said arc reactor for some reason. Been watching too much Avengers, I suppose. But the reactor like that. Oh, I thought that was a phantom. Welcome. Maybe I can help you. Well, I think you're not going to exist in about five minutes, so don't worry about it. And then we get a phone call. I don't know if you've seen, but there is alien matter ripping through the hull. You have to move. Bush, every window in this station. It's engulfing the place. It's everywhere. Okay, Michaela, we kind of know that already. I'm actually wondering why Apexy doesn't just crush the station. Because it can clearly do it. And I feel like all the other Typhon on board, if it would even have empathy for them, would just survive as well. It doesn't really care about them because they're probably just a part of what Apexy is. Um, so that's probably just a game thing. That they're not going to just kill the player because this giant thing has arrived. But uh, yeah, I must say both endings are a bit annoying uh, to do. Because they really want you to sp go through multiple loading screens. And these tendrils aren't helping. Ow. Thank you for that. So let's just go to the bridge again. And blow this entire station to Kingdom Kong. So, here we are once again for what probably will be the last time for now. So Alex is still out cold, so we probably don't get I'm any dialogue. I'm aware the arming keys to destroy Talos 1, so I find the activation of this no-wave transmitter station puzzling. The directives you gave me require I do everything in my power to ensure you destroy Talos 1 and all the Typhon. Detonating the station safeguards the Earth and perhaps provides a small measure of reparation. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. If you want to activate the Null Wave, you'll have to kill me. So we know that. Can we just do the other thing? There's only a marker for the Null Wave device controls. Which is annoying. Because that means I can't... Wait a second. Could it be... Oh. All those auto this Why does... Why isn't this marked? It's clearly... It's marked, right? It, it's supposed to be marked. So if I turn off that... I don't get a marker for the self-destruct, but it is in the captain's... Yeah, the captain's quarters. So... Yeah, that's the other thing, but this... This is what we're here for, so Talos, auto-destruct, initiate. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, we can actually get out. All the directives have been completed. Next and final topic. Your mind is free of significant Typhon neuromods. I believe the risk you pose to Earth is minimal. However, despite my belief, I cannot act against my directives. On the other hand, if I were to suffer irreparable system damage, I would be unable to interfere with your escape. Aha. Uh -huh. There'd be nothing to stop you from departing with your colleagues aboard Dahl's shuttle. Please keep that. Okay. I just wanted you to know that. Okay. Are you... Goodbye, Morgan. Okay, goodbye. Are you gonna just start attacking me, or... What, what are you gonna do? The shuttle is ready to go, Morgan. I'll wait a few minutes before that. There we go. But then, I'm gone. You're on your own after that. Okay, so. And capacity doll is done, but uh, we need to go up. So it's weird that we get this now and not with the other ending, because the other ending also needs us to get off the station. But apparently not now. So let's just go the same route we've taken a few times now, especially in this episode. And just uh, head towards the elevator and back to the shuttle base. See you guys in a second. And after three flipping loading screens and another elevator ride, Flash Morgan is finally ready to board the shuttle and get in with more than four minutes to spare. So uh, let's get in. We got a bit of an animation. And we got inside of the... Okay, Morning. don't know why the that happened. Imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1. So crew 20 in the cargo hold and 5 in the cabin. So that means... Hello. What Morgan, are we waiting for? We go. Dr. Yu, Morgan, it was an honor to work with you on Talos. 
and your brother. Well, and Alex thank is you dead. For retrieving Lightner's remains. Maya always loved the sound of his playing. I couldn't let it die with the station. His was a rare gift, and his skill should be shared. Not only with me, but with others. Okay. And then Michaela? Now come the fireworks. I hope they'll be enough. You know, I thought you had left the station because of what happened between us. And that I had lied to you about my condition. I was angry with you. And myself. But I'm glad you are here with me now. And I like who you have become. You have my father's strength. Oh, thank Italy. you, Michaela. Please and then Sarah. You made it. Look, I know what happened. You aren't solely to blame. You helped me and my officers when we needed it. I'll be sure to let Earthside know what you did to help us in the cargo bay. Okay, so that's all the main characters, and I now we just this way to die need to talk to. Put your ass in that seat. Okay, I'm sitting down. Take, take, take it easy, everybody. We still have three more minutes. Ready or not, starting debark operations. Pre-flight check is who gives a shit. There we go. Everything's black. Do Stay you see seat. anything? This will be a rough ride. Okay. This is actually a lot more exciting than the older ending. Which was really, really abrupt. Whee! Oh! Boom! And there we go. Yeah, I don't think an explosion like that would be enough. I keep having this dream. It's also a very abrupt ending. So we've seen this, but we're gonna skip right to our kind of our report. And there we go. I'm guessing the first part will be mostly the same until the end, of course. I think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to destroy Talos One. Why? To protect her? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. And then we see probably the same thing again. I'm guessing that the ending won't really change based on that. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. So that's actually yes. a good point. Because that means that what we did was not just a dream. It actually we happened. We just to put experienced the version of it. Us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do. And now, of course, we're gonna take the other choice. So let's kill them all. And there we go. An electro burst to take out the operators and then... Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. Christ. Well, that was um, harsh. But there we go. It still it still says I killed no humans. Um, <laughs> well, that's debatable. Um, but yeah, I guess I suppose I rescued sixteen humans and then I killed everybody. And that's it. That's it. That's the quote unquote bad ending, I suppose. It's still something different. I could still complete the entire game by killing everyone and then take the Typhon based abilities and see what the ending is there and what the differences are. But I feel like it's probably not going to change all that much. It's just really interesting that the way it handles your total decisions. The decisions you made really matter because it probably decides at the end whether you even get the choice between kill them all and give uh, Alex a hand. It's probably going to change that as well. I'm I would assume that you won't get that choice if you've killed everybody and uh, did, didn't do those side quests. Another interesting thing is that this ending also takes all those side quests into account because don't forget, most of those characters are completely optional. You could let Michaela die and just not do her side quest. You could let Igwe just suffocate in that box. You could just don't care about the cargo bay and let them go about their business. It's all something you can just do and let them go. Danielle, you don't even need to meet Danielle if you don't want to, or you just missed it because you need to tap the window there. 
Um, all things that are really, really, well, great in the identity of this game. As I've said it a few times during the playthrough as well, it's really cool that the game focuses on your actions rather than going with dialogue trees where you need to decide what to do. Pretty much every decision you make in the game is made through your actions. Either you do something or you don't do something, or you do one thing over the other. You decide what you do instead of what your character says, which makes you feel more, I feel connected to Morgan than you would uh, any other character. But with that being said, I'm gonna end it here. So I'll probably do another playthrough myself, not on the channel itself. I don't know what I'm gonna do uh, as a replacement for Prey. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. But otherwise, I'd like to thank you guys enormously for watching. I really enjoyed this game, so thank you again to, uh, I think it was Michiel Recour for the uh, suggestion. And I'd like to see you guys in the next video or series. So thank you guys enormously for watching, and see you guys next time. Goodbye. Your operators locked me out of the... <laughs> Please reconsider. Trust your former self, the one that isn't morally bankrupt. Your assessment, Morgan. Not mine. The directives you gave me require I do everything in my power to ensure you destroy Talos One and all the Tyson. Detonating the station safeguards the Earth.